What's going on everybody? My name is Rico. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my channel is about vlogs, series and tutorials. And in this episode, I'm going to use a suggestion from A1 Bokeh, which is adding objects to your image in GIMP. And this is the image that we're going to work with today. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add an alpha channel. If it doesn't have an alpha channel already, you can go to here, right mouse button and then add alpha channel. That means that if I'm using the eraser tool and I'm erasing the image like so, you will see a transparent layer. So let me undo that. There we go. And the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the sky because that's where the airplane will be. There are a couple of tools to do that. The first tool is the path tool. The second tool is the magic wand tool or the fuzzy select tool. And then you've got the free select tool. And then obviously you can use the ellipse select tool and the rectangle select tool as well. If you use the path tool, you have to click it and then you can make points like so. And then move around it. Hit control and then hit the first point and then hit enter and now you see moving ends which means that this is the area that you've selected if we hit delete that part of the image is now gone so let me undo that by ctrl z i want to get rid of the pulse as well there we go now let me show you the lasso tool that means that if you click and you hold the mouse button you can just drag a line like so and then go back to the start hit control again click it hit enter and now you see this area is being selected if i hit delete only that part of the image will be deleted so let me undo that as well and the final way is using the fuzzy select tool so let me click it and then click inside the sky because this has all the same pixels the sky is being selected so let me hit delete and now we've got rid of the sky so let's go to select none that's very important after you've used a rectangle select tool or the ellipse or the fuzzy select after you've done what you wanted to do please go to select and then click none to make sure that you can edit the image accordingly again so let's go to the airplane and let's uh, drag it over here to make it a new layer and now as you can see the airplane is behind the mountains the scale is very off so for that we are going to use the scale tool going to click inside this I'm going to drag it if this changes uh, the aspect for you what you need to do is hit the shift so if this is happening for you you need to hit the shift and then you can drag it accordingly so just make sure that it fits your image perfectly like so maybe a little bit bigger there we go hit scale and if you've put the layer beneath the original layer that means that the airplane will be behind the mountains and if you place it above it it will overlap it so I'm going to place it beneath it like so I'm going to change it around a little bit as well there we go I think I need to increase the scale a little bit there we go scale it I've got a lot more room to work with there we go I think this looks pretty fine kind of looks ridiculous but that's the whole point now I've deleted the sky I've added a plane into it I want to match the colors a little bit because this is very bright and this isn't. So for that I'm making sure that I select the original layer and then I go to colors and then I'll go to curves and I'm going to increase the contrast by dropping the shadows a little bit. I'm going to increase the highlights and the midtones as well. Now watch what happens to the image. It becomes a lot more bright which matches uh, the airplane. I've overdid the uh, shadows a little bit so I'm going to decrease it like so and as you can see the changes are being applied so let me hit OK and for the airplane I'm going to the colors and I'm going to the brightness and contrast I'm going to drop the brightness a little bit just to make sure it blends in a little bit more there we go let's hit OK and now we need to add the dog so I'm going to nacho and I'm going to drag it as a layer here as well and the first thing that I want to do is I want to move it around to where I want the dog to be which is over here well, a little bit like that I'm going to scale it as well because that's my primary thing to do let's see I think this will look fine let me hit scale 
let me move it around a little bit. Maybe this will be the place. It's a bit big, so this looks fine, I think. There's two ways to do this. Uh, now it's on top of the image, so we can use the Paths tool and then zoom in. And then we can create a path around Nacho very precisely, like that. So I'm going to uh, do this and then I'm going to show you guys how to feather this. So I'll be back in a minute. There we go. So now let me hit control and then click the first point. And now I need to hit enter and that activates the marching ants. And what I want to do right now is I want to feather it a little bit. And for that, I'm going to select feather. And for this, I'm going to use three pixels. You can increase this to five maybe for this image, but I'll do three just in case so let me hit ok and now it's ferret a little bit and what I want to do is I want to edit copy and then edit paste as new layer now the dog has been pasted as a new layer and I can remove this layer there you go and now you see that the dog is the only thing on the image so let's go to select none to get rid of the selection and let's just press the move tool so that I get rid of the points as well. And there you have it. Now I've added a plane in the sky and my dog on the road, which looks ridiculous. Obviously, you can tell this has been Photoshop, but that's the whole point to exaggerate it and to show you guys how it works. So that's one way to add the dog. I want to show you guys a different way. So for that, I'm going to uh, undo everything that I've just done. There we go. And what I want to do is I want to place this layer of the dark beneath this layer. And I want to change the opacity of this layer. I'm going to change it to let's say 34. Just enough so that I can see the dark. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to add a layer mask. So I'm going to hit the right mouse button and click add layer mask. Or what you can do is you can click the symbol right here. That does the exact same thing. And in this case, because I want to bring out the dog from the background, I'm going to use the white layer mask. I'm going to hit add. And now I need a brush and I need to make sure that the color is, the foreground color is set to black. I've placed the hardness on hundred. And now I'm going to brush over Nacho, like so. Just very subtle. I'm going to brush over the big parts first and I'm going to decrease the brush and paint over the smaller areas that I can't really brush over because of the size of this brush. So let me do that and then I'll be back in a minute. There we go, so I've brushed over Nacho. Now let me increase the opacity again to 100%. And there you go, there's my dog as well. So that's another way how you can add things into an image by using a layer mask and then painting over it. And then let's say uh, you've painted a little bit too much, so you see the green areas over here. What you can do is switch these colors to white. And now let me uh, paint over this part. There you go. And now I'm painting back in the original image. And that's how you can uh, either get rid of some mistakes that you've made, or if you just want to make it a little bit better, or just change some things in general. So there you go. So that looks a lot better. Obviously I forgot his leg over here. So let me switch back to black again. Let me paint over it. There we go. Maybe a little bit further. There's his paw. Can't believe I forgot this by the way. There we go. There we go. And I want to paint over the other areas again. So I'm going to switch back to white. I'm going to decrease the brush size a little bit to be a bit more precise. And everything that I'm doing right now is just for the sake of this tutorial to show you guys how it works. So I'm using different methods and I hope you guys like it. There you go. So let me fast forward this for you guys and show you guys the end result. So there you go. I think that looks pretty fine for now. Uh, so that's it. I showed you guys a couple of ways how to add items into an image. Uh, a week ago I showed you guys how to remove things from an image. So I hope you guys like it. I'll link the video up here. And that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I guess there's just one more thing left for me to say which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time. Doei!